and Kindnest merges Lucky Magazine with Beach Mint. Barney's settles its shop and frisk lawsuit. The high-end retail chain has settled a racial profiling lawsuit that was filed against them late last year after two African-American shoppers were stopped outside the New York flagship. After a nine-month investigation, the New York State Attorney General's office found that the retailer maintained inadequate records of stops made by their loss prevention employees, but despite these lapses, Existing records showed a disproportionate number of black and Latino customers being detained for alleged shoplifting or credit card fraud. The settlement requires the retailer to pay $525,000 in cost, fees, and penalties as well as take a series of remedial actions to settle allegations that it engaged in racial profiling. WWD, Kelly Cutrone loathes Kim I, Kanye West may think he is a staple figure in fashion but some of the industry's influential players disagree. I don't think there's one person who really works in the fashion industry who gives a flying fuck about Kanye West, Kelly Cutrone, founder of public relations firm People's Revolution and America's Next Top Model judge said. I think they have no influence in the fashion world whatsoever, she continued on West and his wife, Kim Kardashian, who are both worshippers of Givenchy. I mean most people who watch the Kardashians, reality show, can't afford Givenchy. NY Daily News, Kindness spins Lucky Magazine, it seems the rumors that surfaced back in April of Lucky Magazine potentially being dissolved may have had some merit. While the fashion glossy won't be calling it quits, Kindness has elected to combine the editorial operation with e-commerce platform Beachmint to form a completely new company called The Lucky Group. Lucky's editor-in-chief Eva Chin and Kindness artistic director Anna Winter will remain involved.